Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms video. It is 0704 February, Thursday, February the 1st, excuse me. Uh, morning workouts in the books. Some get ready for actual work. Uh, but I wanted to put out this quick video. <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. I posted a video yesterday that I was leaving that. I will link to that in the pinned comments below if you're interested. But someone commented on it asking to leak Mad's secret GVG tactics, strategies. Um, now, whether they were just having fun or they were genuine, I don't know. But um, that's what we're here to talk about. And if you clicked on this video strictly because you saw the thumbnail and not the title, um, Truth in Advertising up front, it was a clickbaity thumbnail. Um, but I am going to provide valuable information here, okay? I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to deceive you. So that's the first thing up front. Second to that, let's provide a little bit of context. I have been in the military for a very long time at this point. Because of that, I have a huge respect for integrity and the chain of command. <clears throat> Man, <clears throat> I am so sorry. There we go. That's better. Um, on the integrity side of things, right? That's why I already acknowledged that the thumbnail was clickbaity. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, period. It was just for fun. On the uh, chain of command side of things, this is where we get to the MADS GVG strategies, okay? MAD refers to the information that they have that no one else has access to yet, stuff that they have discovered as their tech, okay? And uh, the rule is, if, uh, if no one else has found it yet, then, then you don't share for you know, competitive advantage sake. And, and that makes sense if the primary purpose is um, you know, being the best everywhere that there is a competitive element. So uh, as far as their strategies, right? Back to the chain of command. How do I help people asking for help, like the person in the comments, while acknowledging my respect for Deegs, his, uh, and his, his priorities and how he chooses to lead the mad clan. Uh, that's kind of the tricky question here. Okay. So out of respect for, for him and Matt as a whole, I'm not going to leak any of their tech, but I will give you something better. Okay. I will explain to you how they get it, okay? Because here's the thing. Let me fix that. Um, brand new tech that no one else has access to um, usually doesn't last for very long, right? A couple of weeks, a couple of months. It's usually not forever. Usually there's other people in the world who are also you know, testing a lot of stuff and, and playing with a lot of stuff. And usually someone else will find something. They're just a little bit behind the curve. Okay. So there's very little value in me providing, honestly, uh, there's very little long-term big picture value in me providing their specific strats that are applicable today, even if I didn't have respect for uh, Deeds as a leader. Okay. The value is in how they obtain it. Okay. And how they get their tech is they communicate more than any clan I have ever been a part of in any game I have ever played. They are constantly uh, testing stuff. They're constantly theory crafting. They're constantly doing uh, voice chats with each other, trying to uh, figure out the best way to do stuff. And the more brain matter that you have engaged in solving a specific problem, the more likely it is that you will get to an optimal solution. That's it. At the end of the day, they just have so many people so purely focused on finding the best way to do business and being willing to come together and collaborate and corroborate and discuss what they're doing and how it's working and how it's failing and poke holes in what people are doing, um, that they will eventually get to something that works better than anything else that has been tested thus far. So if you're in a position in a clan and you want to start uh, obtaining similar results 
the best way to get there is to a recruit like-minded people who are interested in being competitive and b encourage <clears throat> excuse me um strongly encourage uh a lot of communication that's how you do it and if you can do that right this game is still pretty young on global so more and more top clans will arise uh, they will come out. More people will get to end game status. There will be more people who are willing to get invested in this process. Okay. If you want to be a top competitive clan, if you want to have a chance at competing with mad, then you need to surround yourself, right? You need to build your clan with like-minded competitive people and everyone has to help each other problem solve and talk about stuff. That's what they do better than anyone. Truthfully. Okay. So, uh, I hope that this was valuable. It might have been obvious. Um, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. But at the end of the day, that's that's how simple it is. If you do that, you can obtain similar results. Um, so if you if you appreciated this, uh, please support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for your time.